Paris and other French cities have been shaken by the yellow vest protests against the policies of President Emmanuel Macron. Many protesters have been peaceful, but others have been violent and some have a dark past. Video from various media makes it possible to piece together the stories of men who have come from the battlefields of eastern Ukraine to the street fights of Paris. This is Victor Lenta, filmed by Al Jazeera on January the 12th. His white armband marks him as a steward or marshal, deployed by organisers for the first time that day to corral the marchers. He was interviewed by the Huffington Post. Il doit y avoir un service d'ordre interne afin de contenir les éventuelles violences et pour montrer aussi au, au peuple français, au, au ministre, au gouvernement que les violences ne sont pas du tout de notre fait, qu'elles sont souvent le dû de fait de provocations policières. This is Victor Lenta in 2014, posing in uniform for Russia's RT network. He's a French citizen, but he'd come to eastern Ukraine to join Russia-backed separatists. Lenza had earlier served in the French army and was linked to French far-right groups. French journalist Paul Gogo has investigated the case of Lenta and at least 20 other French citizens who joined the separatists. They all came to fight against capitalism, against NATO, against Europe. And uh, actually that's why I think we find some of them uh, in Paris, no, because they think that the Yellow Vest movement is also a way to fight against uh, oligarchy, against capitalism. Sergei Mounier has also made the journey from separatist to protester. This video from social media shows him training fighters in eastern Ukraine. He posted this photo of himself in December, holding a Donetsk separatist flag at a protest by the Arc de Triomphe. Мне там делать уже нечего. Там местные люди, которые уже обустроились на месте, вот, у них есть возможность служить свою какую-то карьеру. Я сам гражданин Франции, живу во Франции, вырос и работал во Франции, поэтому я вернулся к себе домой. Born in Ukraine, he moved to France with his family as a child. He served in the French army, but was discharged from the military reserve after his time in Ukraine. За самовольное, самовольное принятие участия в боевых действиях в другой стране. Против интересов правительства Франции. Франция не допускает того, чтобы кто-то воевал по своей собственной воле где угодно. Давай, красава! More than 10,000 people have been killed and 2 million displaced since the conflict began in eastern Ukraine five years ago. Ukraine's security service says it told its French counterparts about French citizens fighting for illegal armed groups in eastern Ukraine, but that none has faced criminal proceedings. French officials did not respond to our request for comment.